Good morning. Woo! Hi, everybody. I am so psyched that you are here with us to kick off our fifth Open VizConf. Oh, my goodness. Woo! Um, I am really glad you can make it. I hope you are caffeinated and ready to go. You can probably tell that I am, and I will continue to do this all day. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Irene Ross, and I am going to be your MC. I'm also the Director of Data Visualization at Boku. Those of you that don't know who we are, we're a consulting company headquartered here in Boston. We uh, work with clients to use and create open source things uh, and products for the web, and we care a lot about web applications and data visualization, which is why we are here. Uh, we love to do things for the community, and we love you guys. So, um, and. This is a really special year for us. So some of you have been here before. This is actually our fifth conference, which is amazing. Every year, woo! Thank you, thank you. Um, I'm really excited that you chose to spend these two days with us because this is a really special event for us. You can tell that we chose a really amazing venue when the sun kind of goes up uh, above us. We'll open these blinds as well for the full vertigo that you all came here for. <laughs> a gorgeous Instagram view just waiting to happen. Um, so, normally I jump right into logistics, but I thought I would be remiss if I didn't cover a few like really fun little facts about us for the last five years. So I had to pull just a couple of numbers that would be um, obviously necessary. So um, a few really fun things. Uh, we keep growing this conference and you guys keep coming, which is really amazing. So we've had a total of 1,700 people come through here um, and uh, 1,200 unique folks. So many people come back, which is really exciting for us. Um, I promise you this trend is not linear because there's not a lot of venues in Boston that can fit more than this number of people. So we're going to plateau. Um, but nonetheless, that's where we've been. And we've been selling out the last few years. So thank you so much for being here and supporting this event and, and making it real. Uh, a few more fun facts. 13% of you guys have been here more than once, which is really cool. So my jokes didn't um, get you guys not to come back. I'm not talking about the other 87%. Um, <laughs> 9% of you have been here for more than three conferences, and there's a few folks that have been here to all five, which is super cool, that are not staff, I should say. Obviously, I've been here for all five. And our conference videos have been watched a crazy amount of times, 150,000 times on YouTube, which is really amazing. And we've managed to bring 18 diversity scholars uh, through the years, and really, we only started three years ago, so that's a really huge number for us, and every year we've managed to grow that, so I'm really jazzed about that. Um, and I find this amazing. I just pulled a Google Analytics, and we've been visited from 141 countries, which is crazy. I probably can't even name all of these, so uh, I should do a better job of that. But it's really amazing to see so many folks come and look into our conference and see what we're about and hopefully watch our videos and things of that nature. So thank you again for, um, you know, for being here to support that. Um, and we've tried to make that even easier. We've tried to build these really goofy little interfaces for exploring the videos. Um, the top one was made by my colleague Yannick um, many years ago looking at color in slides. And then uh, another colleague of ours had made this uh, first text-based one. And then uh, Peter Bishai made this last one uh, uh, last year, which was a crazy combo of top terms and text analysis and slides. And, it was so fun to play with. I'm um, not sure I watched a lot of videos, but I played around with it a lot. Um, but you guys did a lot of fun things for us too, which was really amazing um, over the years. So one of our speakers, John, made, uh, there he is, has uh, done an amazing amount of all kinds of network visualizations of the various uh, tweet net Twitter networks and um, other things. So I've been, I always play around with his tools after OpenVizConf to kind of see what happened. Um, we also had Jim, my colleague, make a whole bunch of different projects. I'll show a couple. This is looking at tweets uh, from 2015 and 16, and looking at speaker tweets and our tweets and mentions. Um, we've also had Shirley, a speaker coming up in this first block, make a whole bunch of awesome blocks, uh, looking again at Twitter. Um, I only ca captured a few, but there's all kinds of fun ones in there. Um, and then Jim also looked at some other conferences and seen the speaker overlap, which is kind of amazing to see how folks move between the conferences that we all go to. So that was really fun. And you helped us take lots and lots of notes, which is really amazing. I still get emails from people asking where those documents are. They're still referencing them. People update them still. Like I really had an update <laughs> this week to 2016. So that's amazing. Uh, last year, Nikki Case is one of the speakers, took a whole bunch of little sketch notes, as did other folks. Um, 
So thanks for that. We'll do that again this year, and I'll show you guys the link to that. Um, and you wrote lots and lots and lots about the conference, too, which is really amazing. Um, I know a few of these folks are here. Sienna, I saw you somewhere. Um, and we really appreciate all these write-ups that you guys do. People really, you know, folks that can't be here especially really appreciate them. So keep it up, and we'll always be happy to, to share what you guys create. Um, and this is one of my favorites. Uh, one of our attendees last year just came up to me and gave me this beautiful 3D print of our logo, which I just have laying on my desk. And then he made this chocolate 3D print of the rooster, which is the logo for Boku. And they just both sit there and really remind me of um, what a great community we have. So thank you, Andrew, if you're around somewhere. Um, we really appreciate it. Uh, and I'm sorry we couldn't get y'all a 3D printed rooster. I know I'm bragging, but um, it was pretty great. Um, so yeah, so I'm glad that you guys are here. Um, and uh, we'll just jump right in to some logistical details and then we'll get started. I know y'all wanna know what Mike has to say, me included. So um, obviously you can always find us online, openviscomp.com if there, you need to find any last minute details. Um, but you can also reach us on Twitter uh, anytime you tweet at us. My phone will buzz, Adam's phone will buzz. We are all on top of it. Uh, please share stuff on the hashtag. We know people are gonna be following. We're gonna be retweeting you uh, as much as we can and so on and so forth. And you can always reach us. You can also find anyone who's a staff with this red staff badge on the bottom and the red lanyard. Please do feel free to ask us any questions. If there's any issues that you wanna talk to us about, we're all very equipped to help, or at least we know someone who is. So, um, and uh, if you do choose to leave the venue, just make sure you have your badge when you come back and show it to them and they'll let you right back in. Uh, although I don't think it'll be an issue if you don't, but I have not tested this theory. So, <laughs> don't be the first. Um, I'm really excited about all the topics that we're gonna cover this year. This was yet another challenging year to pick talks because there were so many amazing talks that you guys uh, have submitted and other folks have submitted. But um, obviously we're gonna talk about a variety of exciting things, anything from D3 to design process to WebGL, we have a couple of talks about that, timelines, geospatial data, networks, tools for education, storytelling, uncertainty, empathy, canvas, polygons, text mining, style guides, declarative visualization, creativity of data, color, personal data, and exploratory data analysis visualization. Whew. So it's gonna be a packed couple of days if you can be here and be present, if you can shut your email down, I know that's what I'm gonna do. Um, <laughs> uh, try, it's gonna be really amazing. We know that you guys are busy, but you're here. So um, I'm sure a lot of these talks are gonna stick with you. They always do with me. So um, I also wanna welcome, actually it's not nine, it's eight, typo, but still eight diversity scholarship recipients, which is really huge for us. It's more, it's more than double than last year. So that's really amazing. And I wanna thank all of our sponsors that have enabled that. Th these are the first um, sponsorships that folks seem to buy. They really want to support the community in this way. So um, I'm really happy that um, we were able to bring more people. We'll do that again next year. If you think your company might want to sponsor somebody coming here, please, please let us know. Um, it really helps a ton. A few scheduling details. So uh, hopefully this morning you got to grab some bites. Uh, we'll have a light breakfast from 8 to 9 a.m. upstairs. We'll have talks going between 9 and about 5.45. Uh, and we extended our breaks. You guys asked for a little bit more time uh, in la the last year, so our breaks are longer. They're two 45-minute breaks, and the lunch will be 90 minutes. And lunch will be in uh, upstairs. There's kind of two rooms to the side, and there's a room downstairs. So lunch is kind of all spread out, and there'll be coffee all the time. So, um, <laughs> which was a thing I kept saying last year and then didn't happen, but I think this year is really happening, and if it doesn't, let me know. Uh, but yeah, the entire schedule is on the back of your badge in really tiny print, um, but you, uh, I'm sure you can make it out. So uh, if you have any questions, find the folks with the red badges. Um, Wi-Fi, which you've all found, is Longwood Guest Happy Event. As we all know, Wi-Fi is a finite resource, so turn off your Dropbox syncing, your Google Drive syncing, don't stream your Netflix, don't stream your Hulu, don't sync your other whatever cloud something document data thing. Um, and that would really help us a ton. Uh, if there's any issues with the Wi-Fi, we'll be troubleshooting them this morning. Um, obviously, try not to have like all three of your devices signed in if you can. But um, we'll see how this goes. Always a surprise. Um, charging stations. You may see you don't have power cords at your chairs. Um, that probably would be kind of a fire hazard. But we do have charging stations. There's one over there. There's one over there. I feel like an, an airline stewardess. The exits are over there. 
charging stations over there. Um, yeah, feel free to just pop in and plug in your stuff um, and leave it there because we all trust each other. Um, <laughs> so, or just stand there next to your stuff. That's also an option. Um, there are a few folks who don't want their photo taken. That is totally reasonable. You may see we have a photographer running around right there. He's going to take photos of all of us. Uh, we like to put them in the reels. We put them on the website sometimes. If for whatever reason you don't want your photo taken, this applies to everybody. If you're going to tweet a bunch of things in the conference, make sure that folks don't, who have yellow, yellow lanyards are not in your photos. That would be really great. Um, as I mentioned, sharing is caring. There's a lot of people who aren't here who are watching what's happening because not only do we have our transcript here, uh, which I'll get to, we also have it streaming online. So folks are watching Twitter and our transcript. We're seeing numbers of people. There's definitely more um, folks than we even expected. So, uh, you know, share what you guys are learning. I think people will really appreciate it who couldn't be here. Um, I mentioned transcription, which is a really exciting thing that we were able to bring back again. Thank you, ActBlue, for your support. <laughs> Um, last year was the first year that we tried to have a transcription, so I'm sure you can see my words flying really quickly on these tiny TVs. But, um, and it was really amazing. Folks really loved it. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen the actual hardware required to make the transcriptions happen, but you can go check it out over there. Um, and we're really grateful um, to uh, have our friends come back uh, and help us with this kind of live captioning stream. So that's pretty awesome. Um, as I mentioned, we're going to do community note uh, taking again. So this is just a shared Google Doc. You should all have right access to it. You can pop in, add your links, add whatever it is you want to share with the community. Uh, it's a free for all doc. Uh, you can put gifts in, you know, if that's kind of uh, how you're feeling about the conference, that's totally fine. So OVC 2017 notes. Um, cool. And obviously, Code of conduct, I think this goes without saying, but uh, this is a safe place for everyone, folks of uh, any race and gender and uh, any kind of other um, uh, choice of self-identification. So please make sure that you adhere to our code of conduct. We expect you to be respectful to everyone. And if for any reason uh, you, know, you feel that you uh, or someone else is being, uh, you know, um, Treat, mistreated, please do let us know. The folks in the red badges, you can also email us at openvinsconf at boku.com or lots of ways to get to us. But please, um, you know, this community has always been great every year. Um, I really never have to deal with this stuff. But um, nonetheless, it's really important. So, and uh, you may have seen uh, us starting to set up our Axie draft. So last year, we had this little robot and it was drawing lots of pictures of stuff. This year, it's gonna draw more pictures of stuff. Um, and during the breaks, we'll actually have a little montage of it drawing more pictures of stuff really fast. But uh, we're also taking requests, our, your requests for plot. Um, feel free to <laughs> tweet at us with this hashtag, AxiDraw. And Adam, my co-organizer, who's pacing upstairs in the red and yellow jacket, will be making sure those get plotted. So you can stop by any time. It'll be by the registration area, um, just plotting away. So uh, we're a big fan of the AxiDraw. Um, and we are going to have a conference reception today from 6 to 7 o'clock upstairs, thanks to uh, Click, who are, have very generously sponsored um, this event. We'll have an open bar and some snacks, and it's going to be really amazing. So please stick around. It'll be pretty much right after the talks. Uh, we'll have a quick, uh, brief break. And again, I want to say thank you to all the people who have sponsored us, the variety of different kinds of sponsorships. Um, you may have seen the amazing book that is in your... Uh, in your gift bags, we just got this amazing note from uh, Graphic Press and who said, hey, we have these books, we would love to give them to the attendees. So thank you, Edward Tufty, who's not here, but um, who very generously donated these books to, um, to all of you guys. Um, so yeah, and we're really thrilled that they could do this for us every year. Um, you know, these folks really support our cause, so we're, we're really grateful for that. So we are gonna go ahead and get started, that is all.